constantly paranoid about this camera being in focus. Oh, it's so cold in this house. Happy 2015! I would pop a popper, but I don't have one. It is a new year and it is time for new beginnings, changes, telling yourself that you will get to sleep on a reasonable early hour every single night. Doesn't matter about the failure last year or the year before that, you will do it this year. It's also the time for looking back and saying all the stupid things you've done in 2014 and uh, learning from them. So just in case you haven't experienced these things before uh, and you would like to avoid as much pain, both emotional and physical, here's a heads up so you don't have to go through it. Thing I've learnt number one. You may think you have covered every single inch of yourself in sun cream. You haven't. The amount of stupid places I've burnt myself this year is actually quite worrying. Not for my mistakes, when falling asleep on a beach, make sure places such as armpits, the parting of your head, toes, fingers, butts are all covered in sun cream. Similarly, I can't say that word, similar. Additionally, a bottle of sun cream will advertise itself as being water resistant. It's not. If, like me, you're prone to burning, or if you have a deathly pale complexion like mine, first of all, I feel your pain. Second of all, even if you know you've already put sun cream on that particular area of your arm before, slather that shit on there, put it on again. Save yourself from crispy bacon body for the rest of your holiday and just, just cover it everywhere. Take a bath in sun cream if you have to. Second of all, when learning to drive, when turning, you can take your hands off the wheel. The first ever time I sat in a car um, and I was learning to drive, um, when turning off for a junction, I was so terrified that I didn't remove my hands off the wheel and helicopter syndrome was suddenly developed and I couldn't move. Number three, exercise does actually hurt. Exercise, funnily enough, hurts more than you think it does when lying there on your laptop, on your bed, not exercising. So, for fuck's sake, in 2015, do an exercise which you're actually going to enjoy. Don't just pick running, because it's the easiest one, and everyone goes running in 2015. You think you look like the girls on Tumblr, with the really short shorts. But it's painful. If you like running, that's great. And believe me, I'm jealous. But if you don't like running like me, Find a sport which you're actually going to enjoy, you're actually going to dedicate your time to, and you're actually going to get fit from. Whether that be balls, or hockey, or archery, or taekwondo. It is so much more likely that in the long run, you'll get a lot fitter from doing something you enjoy more than doing that one run when you were motivated, just before you realise that actually you much prefer just surfing the internet. Number four, if you want it, just ask for it. I know it is super scary sometimes to ask something of someone, whether that be asking your teacher, how the fuck do you do this maths question because you actually don't understand it, or asking your friend to stop clicking their pen in the middle of an exam because you're trying to concentrate, or even asking your crush out, who you think will never like you, but you never know. Be polite, be open, be honest, and 99% of the time, within reason, people will say yes. And if they don't say yes, the worst that can happen is that they say no. And even then, you've achieved so much more than you would have done just never talking about it and never saying a word. Number five, your body is your body. There's absolutely no point wishing you had another one because you're quite literally stuck with your own. So instead of watching hours and hours and hours of beauty guru videos and complaining about how we don't have their hair or their eyes or their seemingly flawless skin, work on improving your own body so your own body makes you happy. And you may achieve that from losing weight, gaining weight, drinking the amount of water which scientists say we should be drinking but we never do so according to them we should be like dead or something, I don't know. Equally, you may achieve this by dyeing your hair, wearing that dress which you don't think will suit you but you really, really love, and 
keeping the third like button of your top down mum because I like it don't worry about what other people will think you'll look great which leads me on to number six my final point that is just do what you love do what makes you happy because as the world keeps proving to us with Peshwa and Michael Brown and Leela Alcorn life is too short and too precious to live it not the way that you want to live it every second and as always thank you very much for watching guys like subscribe comment down below we'll see you next week bye